Maybe you ain't got the message yet. The commons one gal, nobody puts on a leash. No man's gonna tell me when I can come and go. I gotta be free, or I don't stay at all. girl club so today's video i just wanted to talk about the misconceptions on dark femininity i believe all women can benefit from tapping into their dark feminine however there is a common misconception about what the dark feminine is and many creators are perpetuating this misconception because of the toxic angle that is more profitable than the self-improvement angle the self-improvement angle of it all so in short they're giving dark feminine dark feminine energy a bad reputation by claiming it's all about using your dark psychology and tips and tricks to manipulate men and you know how to trick men and getting what you want out of them you know what i mean that's the whole misconception about it what do you mean better have a better chance of getting those pictures back he doesn't know we're on to him i'll get them oh he's a man he's a it's very pl problematic to associate dark femininity to manipulation because you can't and shouldn't waste your time per persuading someone of your worth it's not your job to prove yourself people either appreciate you or they don't and it's about that confidence of it all, not caring about if they don't, you know? And that would make it a male-centered thing if you use your dark feminine to manipulate a man to liking you, to be honest. And we are trying to be centered men. So try to make dark femininity about more self-improvement and self-discovery. Learn more about yourself and make it less about the male gaze and stuff like that if you understand what i'm saying because dark femininity is an incredibly power empowering empowering tool so i just wanted to clear up these misconceptions so you know it's not to play games with men and chase men and stuff like that but it's more giving you your own power back as a woman because if we do use our dark femininity wrong, it can come across as toxic femininity, which is the equivalent to toxic, toxic masculinity because of the mistakes that can be made on both sides. So you have to think there is nothing empowering about chasing an ex-boyfriend that mistreated you and trying to convince him that you were always his dream girl you know with the mind games and stuff you know you want to just stay away from do as little male centered things with your dark femini femininity as possible and make it more about empowering you giving your self-esteem back your confidence back if you have to create alter egos to be in your true feminine authentic self whether you're sick you're naturally sexy seductive seductive don't let people shame you for that be bold in it be on your um marilyn monroe shit you know what i'm saying just don't give a fuck about what how the women are hating the males are always going to be looking regardless so <laughs> you gotta just make it more about your empowerment you demand the room you know so to make it clear what dark femininity isn't a, truly about is manipulating men, dark psychology to get what you want, getting revenge on an ex, playing games, being heartless or cold or bitchy, or playing hard to get. You know, it's not about those things at all. It's more about setting strong boundaries by defining what you will and will not tolerate. Creating high standards by defining your expectations for relationships and treatment. Self-knowledge and self-discovery. 
feeling safe in your own body and identity. That's a big one. Becoming confident. Accepting your body and yourself. Doing shadow work. Self-love and falling in love with yourself all over again. Self-forgiveness. Empowerment through authenticity. Attuning to your divine feminine energy. Embracing all aspects of your feminine. You know what I'm saying? Whether that be your rage, your sadness, your grief, all the emotions that come with it. Don't be ashamed of your femininity. I used to suppress my femininity for years and I would never do that again because I, I didn't feel like my true self but I was always trying to humble myself for people and I, I don't do that anymore because that's what they want you to do to dim your light so they can be more seen because you kind of block their light because they're not trying to level up but that's not your problem it's about embracing your sensuality and sexuality thereby harnessing your primal energy which can unlock creativity confidence and vitality and owning your truth the dark feminine owns who she is being authentic also means wearing whatever makes you feel like your most powerful magnetic and authentic self in terms of fashion, dark feminines can have a versatile style, although most often seen wearing black, satin, velvet, or lace outfits, dark feminine energy truly comes from within, and it shows in how, me in how you carry yourself, no matter what you're wearing. But a dark feminine also knows that nothing compares to the power of red lipstick and red nails. Just some tips, you know. Or a signature jewelry piece. Um, you know, adding accessories definitely adds to... I don't know, it just creates contrast on you. It stands out. I don't know. Especially if you match it to your skin complexion. If you have a warm undertone, use gold jewelry. If you have a cool undertone, use silver. And trust me, it'll really make your skin stand out. But yeah, uh, being dark... Your dark feminine is just about owning your truth, yourself, being yourself unapologetically, being feminine unapologetically, and not caring about the basic Betty who's feeling some type of way because you are carrying yourself like the Marilyn Monroe that you are. That's the best way I could put it. Or the Dan Dorothy Dandridge that you are, are Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> But yeah, um, this was a quick video on misconceptions about dark femininity and how to use it the right way, you know, versus the wrong way. It's, you know, don't make it more. The point of decentering men is make men like 10% of your life and make you like 90% of your life. Don't center your whole life around male attention. Use your dark femininity to empower yourself and you will attract men anyway. You ain't got to worry about trying to get them to come to you because they will come to you if you stand out and, st you know, be bold and confident. Be yourself unapologetically. And that's all I have to say. And I hope you guys have a great day.